So do you still pray? Um, and if so, what is prayer for you in relation to the body or oh, mystery? Oh, uh, yes, I, I do pray. But not I'm glad you do, by the way. I would expect it, but it's glad, I'm glad to hear it, yes. Not, not like the little boy to whom the mother says, have you said your night prayers? And he says, well, Mom, there are some evenings when I just don't need anything. <laughs> <laughs> and most people connect prayer and asking for something. Uh, and I think it's a very good idea if we say to this mystery of life, uh, obviously your will be done, life knows best, but I have some good ideas that I would recommend to you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good if we have, if we dare to say, I think this would be pretty good. But first we say, your will be done. First we say, that force of life should flow through us. And then we all have three worlds of prayer. And one is what we just practiced a little while ago, letting yourself down into the silence of life. Life uh, comes from this silence and goes back into this silence and to let yourself down, uh, we, in, you call it sazen, or uh, in, uh, in the Christian tradition you have called it a prayer of silence. And the second world of prayer is living by the word, and that is everything there is uh, has the potential to tell me something, to speak to me, to become word, every person, everything, every animal, everything, every situation can speak to me and I can listen to it and respond appropriately. And that is another whole world of prayer we call it living by the word of God. And the third one is acting. It's, it's, the, it's the dynamic aspect of it. It's called, a, with a technical term, contemplation in action. But it means that you are not sometimes contemplating and sometimes acting, but that your action becomes the way in which you feel life flowing through you. And, uh, and, and all the love, for instance, uh, that a mother puts into the cooking or into the knitting, uh, all that love is prayer. You see? A, a teacher said to me once, I took the children to the zoo this morning. Uh, that was really something. I didn't have a moment to pray. And I said, oh, I think you got that wrong. You didn't have a moment to get distracted because the love that you put into the children, the attention, that is your prayer. That is life's, God's attention to the children that flows through you. And this letting the life flow through you, that is another whole world of prayer. And most of us practice this most of the time without even knowing it. It's like the man in Moliere's uh, comedy that says, that is explained the difference between poetry and prose. And he says, you mean I've been talking prose all my life and I didn't even know it? <laughs> we are all talking prose. We are all praying without even knowing it. If we let life and love flow through us in everything we do. And that's another aspect of gratefulness.